Hi guys, okay, so I'm back, right back after I did my other video. Okay guys, so I, as I said, I have another video. And this video is going to be about 16 ways to avoid an argument. So we're going to try to rush this one, not really rush guys, you know, I just don't want them to be so, 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 so long. Okay, um, but guys, I don't, I don't know, it's probably okay just for it to be a little long, you know. I mean, it is my channel, so I do have to express what I feel, you know. Okay, so it's going to be 16 ways to avoid an argument. And we're just going to jump on in, guys, okay? Because I was just here doing another video. All right, so number one, I need you to understand, first of all, that everyone argues, guys. Now, the problem comes in when you don't know how to have a little soothing of an argument because people get together and when two human beings combine no matter what they are to each other everything is not always going to go so well because you have your opinions and they have their opinions you know and they probably aren't the same and they probably don't mix but um that's where disagreements and stuff come in but it's all up to you whether you want how you handle it okay so let's talk about these and um number one i have 16 ways as i said so number one when approaching the situation, don't come at anyone in a hostile way because they're coming back, okay? They're going to come back and words are going to be exchanged. You're going to make them even matter and it's going to get worse and could involve a breakup, some kind of form of bye-bye out of my life. Don't you ever talk to me again. So you want to be calm when addressing the issue, guys. Don't come at a person hollering yelling um in their face riled up like what w what yeah okay you and you said that you know no you wanna be calm okay number two be willing to take turns talking now that is where a lot of people start an argument because if you're both talking how in the heck can you understand what the argument number one is about well let's say disagreement because we're trying to stop arguments so what the disagreement is about or what what you're hearing you don't even know what you're hearing and like the other person is just talking talking and you're just catching every word like everything they say you're making a comment about it that's not going to solve the problem at hand guys okay Number three, only and only talk about the issue at hand as I just addressed. Yes. If you got a problem because the person is gossiping about you guys, only, and I mean only, talk about the issue of the gossiping. Do not, do not talk about anything else. And even if the person gets off topic, you stay on topic and say, no, I am not getting off topic. I'm talking about the issue at hand. Number four, do not bring up the past unless it involves the past. If the argument doesn't involve something that happened five years ago, two years ago, I don't care if it's yesterday. If it doesn't involve that and you're arguing about something in the kitchen or you're having a disagreement, a disagreement, not an argument, a disagreement about something in the kitchen, do, do not bring up the past. Talk about that issue at hand and leave it there because when you bring up stuff about the past it's going to involve more stuff and then soon you're going to be going 10 years late 10 years back of what happened 10 years ago has nothing to do and you're going to be off topic so the issue is not getting taken care of because now you're on to something else all right number five um let the other party person you know party person Express freely how they feel without interrupting. While they're talking, be quiet. No matter what they say, be quiet and listen and hear what their point of view of this disagreement is and what they want to say. How can you sit down and make a comment about something if you do not hear what the other person is telling you? You would have to be quiet to address the situation, okay? Or to straighten the issue out, guys. Number six, understand the discussion at play because there's an issue to be dealt with, okay? 
it's at play because we are trying to get past this disagreement okay that's what we're trying to do we're not trying to do anything else here but get past it because if you didn't want to deal with it me and you wouldn't be sitting down here talking about it okay so just un try to understand that's why you're here don't make matters worse number seven show that you want to get past this guys okay don't just come to a person when they say i need to talk to you and it's a di it's about a disagreement you know it's about a disagreement already okay so show that you want to get past this work with the person don't keep accusing the person of something or don't keep saying this about the person don't keep saying that about the person work with the person i did this because this happened because number eight if you don't want to get past it after addressing the issue move on without a fuss okay you can stop the argument if you don't want to get past this just tell the person no i'm not coming over there to talk to you no i'm not calling you about this issue i'm not going to address this certain thing that happened i don't feel like i need to i don't want to talk about it and if they keep talking to you about it you have forms of ignoring it don't answer the phone don't answer the text don't come over and talk about it because you don't want to talk about it okay um number nine do not say how someone feels is a lie okay i'm gonna say that one again because a lot of people need to understand that do not say how another person feels is a lie okay um let's see you can't yes you can't tell someone how they feel when a person is addressing the situation, if they feel a certain way, how can you tell them how they feel? You can't. They have to tell themselves, okay? If they say, I felt lost, I felt confused when you said this, I felt hurt when you say this, your, your comeback to that person should not be, oh yeah, you're not hurt. You know I didn't do this. You know I didn't, I didn't uh, hurt your feelings. You don't, how do you know? We are individuals and we have our own feelings. So you do not know if you hurt another person. They would have to tell you that in order for you to know. So that's why whatever they say that you did is very important. So you should listen and you should take account to that and address that. And if you know you did it, apologize. Number 10, if you have evidence, do not ponder around. Show it like boom. Okay, that's where arguments go wrong also. You know you got evidence. You know you have proof. But you're sitting there still carrying the conversation on. Now, me, I do some things like that. Like, for example, if I, I because I do it, because I want to see what you're going to tell me. Like, I could know for a fact that you did this or you said this or this happened. But even with the evidence, I just want to see how true you are to me. Now that could be wrong and that could start something even bigger also. But see, for me, I'm going to come down calm and say, oh, yeah, you did. You know, I'm going to sit there and let you talk. I'm not going to be talking over you, not yelling. And when I get ready to give you the evidence, I'm going to do it in a calm way and say, well, what is this? You know, and show you. So don't don't go in anybody's face like, OK, here's the evidence. Throw the phone on you. Here's the evidence. Let me poke your head down in the text so you can see it. Stuff like that. No. All right. Um, number 11. You want to... This could probably work, guys. Okay? But be cautious with this because it depends on how mad the, person, the other person is. But if they try to start an argument with you guys, grab them. Get close to them and let them see at first that you're getting close. But be careful. Like I said, you know, you know what type of person you're dealing with. So, you know, if you shouldn't do this and if you're not dealing with the type of person that's going to be like, you know, as soon as you get close, you better back off because you don't want to get hit if that's the type. But if not, you want to just come close, you know, a little bit and grab them and just hug them not in a forceful way do not grab them to make another let's say like if you're a guy don't grab a woman all hard like you know something like she think you're abusing her but you want to grab the person gently whether it's a man or a woman you want to grab them gently and just give them a nice hug and while you're hugging them kind of slowly whisper in their ear 
I know you're mad. I'm mad also. You know your little sexy voice. Or if it's a friend, you know, if it's a friend, you don't have to use the sexy voice. You just say, I know you're mad. I know you're upset. We're going to work through this. Now let's talk calmly. We don't need to fuss. We don't need to argue because who needs that in their life? Only creating enough stress when you know I love you and you love me. Friend-like, you like me and I like you. We want to keep this friendship going. We want to keep this relationship going. Why argue? And if they want to continue to do that, just move on. All right. So let's see. What number was that? Uh, number 11, guys. No, that was number 11. I'm sorry. Number 12. If it's a relationship, kiss them. Okay? Like I said, be gentle. You know who you're dealing with. So if, if they want to, you know, be all feisty, you know, don't do it. But if they're that type that maybe will see what would happen, you know, try to take a risk. Kiss them on the lips. Or if it's your friend, on the cheek. Or maybe if it's your friend, probably don't, you know, because they'll think something else. But if it's a relationship, just grab them and just kiss them. All right, let's see. What else? Number 13, if you say let's move on, move the heck on. The moment that you're in to the disagreement, if you notice things and stuff start getting out of the way, if you say let's move on, I don't want to talk about this anymore, we're going to move on. Do exactly that. I don't care if the other person starts trying to bring it up or what they say to lure you back into the argument, move on. And if it involves you saying, well, look, if you don't move on, I'm out of here or if it's your place or some place that you're over your car you're either I'm out of here or you're out of here because I said let's move on because I don't want to talk about this anymore because I have nothing else to explain okay now if you want to be on this date or you want to um, have this fun that we're about to have I mean you know let's just go ahead on and do it now if you don't i will have to go because i said let's move on i address the situation i have nothing else to say about it let's move on and you move on okay number 14 because we need to speed up here so number 14 um if you're angry go cool off okay you don't want to um always be so upset and so um mad when uh it's, yeah okay you don't want to be so mad when addressing a situation because that's not right you will say a lot of stuff that you don't mean a lot of stuff will come up somebody's gonna get hurt tears will start just a lot okay so cool off before addressing this situation if you're too angry, don't go. Tell them you cannot do it today. Okay, number 15. Never ever greet someone when you're very angry. If you're very angry, guys, do not even greet the person. As I said, don't go. Don't do anything. Don't, in, don't carry the conversation on. Don't even have the conversation. Leave the conversation alone maybe until you get ready to deal with it. Now, I would hope that you would be ready to deal with it at some point, guys. And if not, you have your reasons. So that's number 15. Never ever read someone. All right, number 16. Just admit if you are wrong. If you were wrong. Um... Say that you did something and you know that you did something, guys. We know you did something and the other person knows that you did something. If you guys are having the, a disagreement about it, talking about how it made the other person feel or something like that. Now, you know you did it. You know you said it. Why not address it, guys? It's okay. I am wrong. Trust me, a lot of people in the world needs to understand this. It's okay to say, I'm sorry. If you know you hurt somebody or you know you said something, before it even turns into an argument, why waste somebody else's time telling while they're telling you all this stuff and it's going to turn into a bad argument? Why waste their time? 
why not just say, I know I did it. You can still tell me how you feel about it, yeah. But I know I did it, okay? Um, I didn't know it made you feel that way. Because that's mostly, if you know you did something, that's mostly what everybody should be saying. That's what I would think. I mean, I know it hurt you. I know it made you feel this way. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. We're going to try to work on not letting this happen again, guys, okay? And there you go. That's how you resolve these problems. That's 16. But guys, trust me, I got even more ways. And I may do another video about it, you know, because there's so many ways to things. All right, guys. So that's it for today. It's getting dark, guys. You know, it gets dark early since it's about to be fall. Once again, sorry for a long video. But you know, I got to keep rambling on about these videos, guys. Okay? Like I said, people love doing things that people love doing stuff that makes them happy and that's this makes me a little happy guys okay all right so uh until next time guys stay tuned and be good and please be safe